Hello, a brief video today showing you how to download and install the latest WinPV software and how to use that WinPV software to verify and update the PowerVision itself. Now this is for the original PowerVision for Harley-Davidson. You're going to start by opening a web browser of your choice and going to dinojet.com. At our home page here, you're going to go to support and downloads. Scroll down on that page, you'll find the PowerVision for Harley-Davidson. Scroll down on that page, you'll find manuals and install guides. Scroll past that and you'll see the software header. Click directly on that header to see the available downloads. Now while there are a number of downloads underneath this header, the only one we're worried about today is the PowerVision software itself. There is a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Now this is dependent on the computer that you're using. You'll need to find out which one your computer has so that you can install the correct version. Simply open any file folder. On the left hand side here you'll generally have quick access and shortcuts you're going to go to this pc or it may be called computer or my computer single right click and choose properties this will give you system information system type 64-bit operating system so that's the style that we need to download when pv software 64-bit version while it says windows 8 and 10 this also works with windows 11. download software and once it appears it's finished downloading, go ahead and click it to begin the download or the installation itself. And we've completed that installation. Now, the software installation will generally put a shortcut here on your desktop. With the PowerVision connected to the computer with the provided USB cable and showing PC link mode active on the screen of the PowerVision itself, go ahead and double click to launch the WinPV software. Now if you already have WinPV installed, you can verify that you have the latest version or check to see what your current version is before you decide to download and install. Just by coming here to About, it shows your currently installed version. If this version is anything less then what you found here on our website, you'll want to download and install the latest version. To check the PowerVision updates itself, we'll go to Setup and check for updates. It's always going to ask if you would allow it to close the WinPV software, tell it yes. You may be prompted here to allow the following program to make changes. You'll want to accept that prompt as well. Now this is the new PV update client. Very handy. Essentially, we've got two sides here. The button on the left is to update a PowerVision for use with all 2020 and older Delphi fuel-injected Harleys. The right side here is to update it for 2021 and newer Delphi fuel-injected Harleys. When you launch the PV Update client, you'll want to wait until you see installed versions down below here. That means that the software has communicated with the PowerVision itself and determined the currently installed versions. Below the buttons themselves, if the values are in green, it means it is up to date. So currently, this PowerVision is up to date for use with the 2021 and newer bikes. We're going to update it for use with the 2020 and older. The two versions below are the absolute latest versions available. They are in white because they need to be updated. We'll click the button. We'll allow it to update the firmware. This will take a few moments. Don't be surprised if it gets to 95% and hangs up there for a few moments. When the firmware has finished its installation, you should get a message similar to this, telling you that it installed and which version. Updated three things, zero errors. We're going to click OK. Now it's going to give us a specific set of instructions. It is imperative to follow these step by step. We're going to unplug the power vision. So disconnect that USB cable. We're simply going to click OK here and then reconnect the power vision. It'll take a few moments to make that connection and the software will then determine that the tune database for the 2020 and older bikes also needs to be updated. And it'll ask us to do that. We'll tell it yes. Again, don't be surprised if it gets to 95% and hangs up there for a few. Now that the Tune database has finished installing, you'll get a message similar to when the firmware finished installing or updating. 
We'll click OK. It's going to communicate with the PowerVision. It's going to make sure that everything is up to date. Now, like I said, this side here is for the 2020 and older Dell 5 fuel-injected Harleys. These two items in green mean it is now completely up to date for use with that bike. Green over here, that's the WinPV software. It is also up to date. Now, should you finish tuning your 2020 and older and you need to tune a 2021 or newer bike, just get back into to the PowerVision update client here. Click this button, go through the process to update the firmware and tune database for use with those models. Swap your cable and tune away. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.